All you need to know about CryptoLocker. Read the following guide and find out what CryptoLocker is, how it works and what you can do to get rid of it. What is CryptoLocker? CryptoLocker is a well-known malware that is particularly harmful to any organization that works with data. Once you execute the code, it encrypts files on shared desktops and networks and holds them hostage, requiring anyone who tries to open the files to pay a ransom to decrypt them. For this reason, CryptoLocker and its variants have become known as ransomware. Malware such as CryptoLocker can enter a secure network through many vectors, including email, file sharing and download sites. The new variants have eluded antivirus and firewall technologies, and it is reasonable to expect that will soon emerge others that can circumvent preventative measures. Nonetheless, we highly recommend you reinforce access controls to limit the extent of damage caused by an infected host. Similarly, you can create the next line of defense by careful and repeated investigative and corrective checks. To the fateful question, should you pay the ransom? Replied cyber reputation and security expert Andrea Baggio. I anticipate that the answer is by no means obvious. What does CryptoLocker do? Upon execution, CryptoLocker begins scanning the mapped network drives to which the host is connected to track down folders and documents. Later it renames and encrypts the contents it has permission to modify depending on the credentials granted by the user executing the code. CryptoLocker uses a 2048-bit RSA key to encrypt files and renames the files by adding an extension, such as encrypted or CryptoLocker or Finally, seven random characters creates a file in each affected directory by linking it to a web page that contains decryption instructions that require the user to make a payment, often via Bitcoin. Instruction file names are typically decrypt underscore instruction .xto decrypt underscore instructions .html. As experts discover new variants, the list of ransomware types endlessly updates. For example, a variant known as CTB Locker creates a single file in the directory where it first begins encrypting files, named Decrypt All File 7 Character Random Text or Decrypt All File 7 Characters Random BMP How to Prevent Crypto Locker? The damage that malware can inflict is in proportion to the number of files it has access to. Restricting access is a prudent measure that can make you reduce the amount of material that can be encrypted. Besides offering a line of defense for malware, it will mitigate the potential exposure to other attacks by internal and external actors. While reaching a least privileged model is not a quick fix, you can quickly reduce exposure by removing unnecessary global access groups from ACLs. Groups like everyone, authenticated users and domain users, when used on data containers, such as SharePoint folders and sites, can expose entire user hierarchies of a company. In addition to being easy targets for theft or misuse, these exposed datasets are highly likely to be damaged by a malware attack. In fact, on file servers, these folders are known as open shares in the event that both the file system and share permissions are accessible via a global access group. You can use dedicated technologies to find and delete global access groups. However, you can also locate open shares by creating a user who does not belong to any group and using that account's using credentials to examine the commands of a Windows CMD file. shell to enumerate and test shares for accessibility. NetView, enumerate nearby hosts. NetView backslash host, enumerate shares. NetUseX, backslash host, share, map a sharing guide. Dear, S, lists all user readable files under the share. You can easily combine these commands into a batch script to identify widely accessible files and folders. Sadly, fixing these without automation can turn into a lengthy and risky process, as it's easy to influence regular business operations if you're not careful. Therefore, if you discover a large number of accessible folders, consider an automated solution. Automated solutions can also help you go beyond eliminating global access making it possible to achieve a valid model with least privileges while eliminating manual and ineffective access control management. How to Detect Crypto Locker Spoiler, if you want to jump straight into the action, we've compiled a list of the 150 best tools for decrypting ransomware. Now let's get into the technical folds of the survey. Suppose file access activity is monitored on the affected file servers. In that case, you will observe anomalous behaviors that generate a considerable number of attempts to open, modify and create at a very rapid rate and are, therefore, easy to detect with the automation that provides valuable investigative control. For example, if a single user account modifies 100 files in one minute, you can bet it's an automated process. 
configure your monitoring solution to trigger an alert if you observe this behavior. If you don't have an automated solution to monitor file access activity, however, you may need to both turn native auditing audit. and tax monitoring systems and output are unfortunately challenging to crack. Instead of enabling and collecting native audit logs on each system, prioritize susceptible areas and consider setting up a file sharing honeypot. A honeypot file share is an accessible file share that contains files that look normal or valuable but are fake. Since no legitimate user activity should be associated with a honeypot file share, any observed activity should be carefully examined. If manual commands are blocked, you will need to enable native auditing to log access and create a script to notify you when logged in the security event log, for example, using dumple.exe. If your investigative control mechanism can trigger an automatic response, such as user account disabling, it can effectively stop the attack before it inflicts further damage. For example, the response to a user who generates more than 100 change actions in one minute might include Notification to IT and security administrators, include the username and affected computer. Checking the machine registry for known keys slash values created by Crypto Locker. Get item HKCU software, Crypto Locker, files. Get value names. If the value exists, it automatically disables the user. Suppose logged access activity is safeguarded and is properly searchable. In that case, it becomes invaluable in recovery efforts, as it provides a comprehensive collection of all affected files, user accounts, and, potentially, hosts. Depending on the crypto locker variant, the encryption can be reversible with a real time disassembler. Ransomware safety tips. In conclusion, here are some small and simple tips to enhance your devices and endpoint protection software. These solutions can help detect certain types of ransomware and prevent them from encrypting your files. Avoid phishing scams. Phishing emails are the most common way ransomware spreads. Keep backups of your documents. It is faster and easier to recover your documents from a backup than to decrypt them in case a ransomware attack has compromised them. Commit to following a zero trust or least privilege model. Ransomware can only affect folders a user can write to. A least privilege model restricts access to only what is absolutely necessary. Monitor file activity and user behavior to detect, alert and respond to potential ransomware activity. New variants of ransomware constantly pop up. Contact Help Ransomware's dedicated security forensics team and update any ransomware signatures detected on the net.